Today we are going estate sale shopping, but not just any estate sale. This is a $49 million property in Bel Air, home of the late Hollywood starlet Yvette Mimiu. She lived quite the life of fame, art, and world travels as we are about to see through this extravagant home. She never had kids, so most of her belongings are going to be at this sale. I felt so out of place pulling into this neighborhood. We're on our way to Bel Air Country Club. Why do I feel like they're not gonna let us in? There's the gate. We got it. Why is nothing gated here? I'm so confused. But parking was an absolute nightmare. <laughs> the people that were smart enough and got there early were sprinting down the hill to be first in line. Oh my gosh. Yeah, that line. We ended up having to drive 10 minutes away and Uber back to the house. But we made it to the back of the line. They were letting in about 10 people at a time, so it took us about an hour to get in. So this is our first time. What are we supposed to expect? It's like a magical <laughs> mystery tour. The entrance and the gardens of this place are unlike anything I've ever seen. And everything was for sale, including all of the lanterns in the garden and even a bunch of the plants, which if I lived locally, I would totally be getting some of those. This path through the gardens led us to the guest house, which which is where Yvette spent most of her time. This place was full of brass, silver, art, beautiful rugs, furniture, a library of stunning books. The people that got there early wasted no time claiming a lot of the good stuff. A lot of Yvette's art was in here. This room used to be her art studio. It was so beautiful and I was bummed that they took it all apart for the sale, but I did find this book in there that had a whole bunch of her work in it. The chandelier thing was one of the coolest things that she made. If only I could fit this in my carry-on bag, slash if only if I could afford it. There were tons of other pieces of her art as well, all over the walls. There was tons of other art from other artists as well. A lot of money, but it was very beautiful. This house is so charming. It's hard to believe this is just the guest house. This colorful greenhouse room was really, really cool. It was full of these beautiful, vibrant chandeliers. Up these cute little painted stairs, we found probably my favorite part of the property, this pool. It is so cute and peaceful. Um, is the pool for sale? <laughs> Seriously. It even had its own separate pool house next to it. I love all of the colorful decorations that were out here. Once again, if I lived local, I totally would have picked up some of this fun outdoor furniture, like these umbrellas. <laughs> and now to the jewels. I liked this cute little knockoff Dior B chain and brooches, but I found something better. Her room and closet had been completely cleared out, which was too bad because I'm sure she had some amazing clothes. Maybe that all ended up going to friends and family. Unfortunately, we were not able to go into the main mansion. It has already been sold with, I'm assuming, most of the contents. I really wanted to see it because this place looks extravagant. Like, look at this pool. We thought the guest house pool was impressive. Okay, so I ended up getting this beautiful 1940s Dior bracelet. It has little bees on it and these cool little gold balls with gems. It's so pretty and I have worn this almost every day since. It was kind of eerie walking around and looking at a place and through things that meant so much to somebody, but rest in peace, Yvette. I will think of you every time I wear this beautiful bracelet. Let me know in the comments if you've ever been to an estate sale. Don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video.